YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm going to do a black tie smoky eye, which is my version of a prom or formal makeup. I was thinking to myself the other day, because I've seen a lot of people are getting ready for prom, what would I have done differently my senior year for prom? Um, and what I would have done differently is I would have dressed a little bit differently. I felt like all the guys looked the same, and that's pretty much how prom is. You wear a tuxedo, you go, and it's that. I would have dressed a little bit differently, still nice, still um, tuxedo style, but something just a little bit different than everybody else, and I also think I would have worn makeup, specifically a smoky eye, just because I think that is what looks best on me, especially in the evening. So stick around for the outfit details towards the end. I'm going to go ahead and get some makeup on my face now. Starting with skin, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Radiance Primer. This is just a beautiful primer to add a lot of glow to the skin. I really want my skin to be glowing and perfect. I'm just applying this all over the skin with my fingertips. For foundation today, I'm mixing two products. The first is Born This Way from Too Faced, and then putting in a little drop of Le Blanc de Chanel. So I've mixed those together on the back of my hand. I'm going to apply that with my fingers, and then blend it in with a flat top kabuki brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and conceal any spots with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. And to conceal and highlight around my eyes, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Age Rewind um, little twisty up thing. To set my whole face, I'm going to be using my Chanel Le Beige Powder. For blush and bronzer, I'm going to be using a couple shades from my cheek palette from Benefit. This is the old one that they had a few years ago at Christmas, but I believe both colors I'm going to use are in their new Cheekathon palette as well as sold individually. I'm going to be using Hula to um, bronze my face and Rockator on my cheeks. Next, I'm going to contour and highlight my skin with my Le Duo from Lancome. Starting with the contouring side, I'm taking a little bit of that and just rubbing that onto the back of my hand so that I can work with this a little bit more precisely and with a brush rather than just striping it onto the skin. And I'm going to be using a fluffy eyeshadow brush just to pick that color up from the back of my hand and sculpt my cheekbones a little bit. You all know that I don't always love to contour, it's not my favorite look, but I think for photography, for an event like prom, or you could even do this look for a wedding or for whatever you're doing, um, but if you're going to be photographed, I think just a little bit of subtle contour right under the cheekbones, just to define them, looks great in pictures. Now for the highlight side, I'm just going to place that straight from the bullet onto the top of my cheekbones. Across my cupid's bow and right under my brows. Now before I get to my eye makeup, I'm gonna work on my brows. I like to do my brows first because they create a sort of frame for me, um, but you can do this in whichever order you prefer. Today I'm using my Holy Grail Brow Pencil. This is the La Sorcière Définie from Lancome in the shade Medium Ash. Brows on, time for eyes. I'm going to be using my Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer just to lock everything in and make sure it lasts all night. I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of shaping and shading with my Smashbox full exposure palette. This is my be all end all when it comes to neutral palettes and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and start with some of the more light neutral shades mixed together and um, etch out the socket line. Grabbing an even smaller blending brush and just deepening that right into the crease. Taking this kind of low, it doesn't matter if it gets on the lid because we're going to be covering that up in just a minute. And then slowly bringing that deeper color slightly up with whatever's left on the brush. And then going back to the fluffy brush to blend out. Next, I'm mixing a black with a dark gray. I'm getting a little bit more of the dark gray on the brush. I don't want too much black and I'm just dotting that right onto the outer corner. And then of course taking my blending brush and merging it into the rest of the colors. 
Now that the crease and shading work is done, I'm going to go onto the lid. I'm using a cream shadow from Flower. I don't have the name of this on here, um, but I will link that in the description box below so that you can check it out along with every other product that I use today. But this is like a minky grayish kind of color. And to highlight my inner corners, I'm going to be using the lightest shimmery shade from my Full Exposure palette. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to take these two matte shades on my fluffy brush and just sweep to create a sort of a hazy shadow. And then I'm going to use that cream color from Flower closer into the lashes. And then just to connect everything up, I'm taking a little bit of the black and a little bit of the dark gray, mixing them together on this fluffy little detaily brush, and just connecting the outer corner of the bottom to the outer corner of the top. That's shadow. I'm just going to use a teensy touch of black gel liner on a very small detail push brush, and just push that right into the base of the lashes on the outer corners. Before I go ahead and do my mascara, I'm going to give that eye area a bit of time to dry just because I used cream and gel products and I don't want to transfer them when I do my curling. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lipstick now and for that I'm going to be using Lancome Beige Mirage. This is my favorite nude lipstick. This is not the most long wearing formula but it's definitely something you could keep with you in your pocket if you're wearing a tuxedo or in your purse if you're carrying a bag. Um, and it's just quick to touch up and it looks really great and wears off naturally. With the eyes and lips on, I feel like I need just a little bit more blush, so I'm going back into my blush brush and my Rockateur from Benefit and just warming the cheek up just a touch more. Now that the eye makeup's had a second to dry, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and then put on a coat of black Definisils, which is my favorite mascara. Um, I don't want to do fake lashes or huge lashes. I think that the smoky eye is just enough. If you like lashes and you're comfortable in them, go ahead and apply a pair of false lashes. And to finish off the makeup, I'm going to use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus. That's the finished makeup look. Let me go get dressed and I'll be right back. And now I'm all ready to go to prom, a formal, or even a black tie event. The outfit that I'm choosing is just a play on a traditional tuxedo. Instead of a plain black jacket, I chose a gray velvet jacket with a black satin lapel. I also have a matching black silk bow tie and I went for a pink flat front shirt rather than a traditional white ruffled tuxedo shirt. The jacket and pants are both from ASOS. The pink shirt is from H&M. I'm not exactly sure where I got this tie. I've had it for years, but you can find black silk bow ties everywhere. And on my feet, I have fun socks for a pop of color and my Ben Sherman wingtips. And that's the whole look pulled together. I hope you all enjoyed my take on a black tie, prom, or formal occasion makeup and outfit. If you enjoyed this and want to see more makeup and outfit pairing looks, go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below for other occasions you'd like to see looks for. Also, make sure you check out my description box because I've got a link to every single product that I talked about today down there, including the outfit if I can find all the pieces. I also have links to all of my social media. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all at John John Talks, as well as check out a link to my Facebook page down there. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, click on my face now so that you can be here every week. I post two videos every single week and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah.